Continue to follow a deadly fire that happened in downtown Wilkesbury overnight. For the latest developments, we are going right to WBRE 28, WYOU 22 Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Rogers, who's live at the scene. Nicole. Yeah, Kelly, this is looking a lot better than what we saw earlier this morning. Now, right here at the intersection of Pennsylvania Boulevard and East Market Street, we're finally back open. We have a steady flow of traffic, and the scene is looking a lot better. We don't really have much crews. We do have a City of Wilkesbury Fire Department truck that just pulled up to the scene with sirens on. We'll look into that for coming up at our next eye report coming up at noon. But we're looking a lot better than what we saw a few hours ago. Several crews responded to a fire that broke out at the Reddington Hotel efficiencies at the Genetti Complex in downtown Wilkesbury around 2 a.m. The building was on fire. They just like they, op like they knocked on the door. As soon as I opened it, they just pulled me out. Like I didn't have a chance to grab anything. I just like, grabbed my keys. That was it. Nearly 100 residents, like Zachary Jackson, made it out alive, but one person and two dogs lost their lives in the early morning fire. Wilkesbury Fire Chief Jay Delaney spoke with us this morning as crews were battling the flames. No one else injured. Uh, we have multiple EMS crews here with us, multiple firefighters here. Uh, they've done a good job. The fire is under control at this point, but they're still pulling some of the walls apart and some of the areas around the affected uh, fire room. Fire crews rescued four people from the side of the building using ladder trucks. The American Red Cross is providing assistance to 85 people who are now displaced. The adjacent hotel is opening 27 rooms for fire victims like Trevor Yates, who saved himself and his German Shepherd Lily. When we went up on the roof over there, we could see smoke coming out of it. So, and I hear uh, people have uh, pipes flooding down into their apartments. Many who were evacuated remain shaken by the experience. I seen the smoke in the hallway, and we just started heading out. You know, we seen all the fire and everything coming out of the front. We're on the backside, so it was filled with smoke really quick, though. Firefighters tell Eyewitness News there was extensive damage to the efficiency side of the building. No one will be allowed back into that portion until code enforcement deems it safe. The scene is clear for now, but the investigation is ongoing. And of course, this is a developing story, so we will continue to bring you updates right here on air and online at payhomepage.com. Kelly, back to you. All right, Nicole, thanks for the latest there.